observatory is warning of more to come after Hong Kong was battered by a severe rainstorm that's been described as something that happens just once in 200 years. After hailstones and floods wreaked havoc across the city last night, heavy rain continued to cause chaos today. ATV's author Urkula reports. There was no respite from last night's deluge as heavy rain battered the city again this morning. Commuters found it difficult getting to work during the morning rush hour, with the amber rainstorm warning issued at 8.40 and remaining in force until just before noon. There was severe flooding in areas such as Siulam and Chunmud, with water reaching waist level. Cars had to be towed out, and people had to navigate their way around or across flooded sections. On Connet Road West in Saiyang Pun, police officers were directing traffic through more flooding, with traffic lights not working. More than 200 flights were affected by the storm, and travelers were warned to check with their airlines before heading to the airport. <laughs> After last night's scenes of indoor waterfalls and shoppers stranded in a flooded mall, shop operators struggled to get back to business at Festival Walk today. There were signs of the damage caused by torrential rain, which came through the glass canopy after it was shattered by hailstones. Repair work was also underway on escalators around the shopping center. Parts of the skating rink had to be sealed off for the ice to be changed. Some areas of the food court were still sealed off as staff mopped up the remaining water and debris, but by lunchtime it was largely reopened. While no injuries have been reported, the lawmaker representing the insurance sector says people can claim compensation in such situations if there's been negligence. But if the customer can prove that they have been, there have been a lot of things they haven't done or they should have done and they didn't do it, and there's net negligence or there's duty on the part of the shopping mall, then the shopping mall may be, may be held responsible for the uh, body injury or even property damage. However, Chan pointed out that for shops it would be easier to claim damages from their own companies as the mall's insurance would normally only cover its own property. The company which owns the mall has staff on site assessing damage, providing assistance and making the necessary claims. With the observatory recording 150 millimeters of rainfall in a single hour, the drainage services department said a storm like this happens only once in two centuries. But the department denied any problems with drainage facilities in the Kowloontong area. As a trough of low pressure continues bringing rough weather to Guangdong's coast, the observatory warned that we may see more storms on last night's scale. The shadow weather is happening uh, over the uh, coastal areas, and we expect um, this kind of weather will still have a chance to develop uh, in the next few days. So um, uh, we will we'll, we'll keep a close watch on the weather situations and what the public uh, and uh, issue the, 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 the storm warning uh, in, uh, as soon as possible. It's not even the typhoon season yet, and we've been hit by a storm that's had a bigger impact than recent tropical cyclones. We've already been warned to watch it for extreme and unpredictable weather this year, and this could be just a taste of things to come. Arthur Urquiola, ATV News. The ferocity of the rainstorm caught everyone by surprise yesterday, especially at the Festival Walk shopping mall in Kowloontong. Let's take a look back at the chaos last night, captured mostly on mobile phone cameras. There were indoor waterfalls at the popular Festival Walk shopping mall in Kowloon Tong last night as torrents of rain cascaded from the ceiling and down the escalators. <laughs> Mobile phone footage captured dangerous conditions within the glitzy mall as large chunks of debris crashed to the floor. <laughs> from the food court, people captured the havoc on their mobile phone cameras. Some diners there abandoned their meals and ran to safety. As shopkeepers tried their best to keep the water away from their stores, shoppers were left wading barefoot and ankle deep through the indoor flood. It was all blamed on hailstones brought by the rainstorm, which damaged the glass canopy, allowing the water to pour in. As the rain battered Kowloon and the new territories, Hillstones the size of golf balls came crashing down in some areas. The onslaught sent people rushing for cover.
The entrances to some MTR stations were flooded as well. Train delays added to traffic chaos caused by flooded roads. The red rainstorm warning was issued at 8.15 last night, followed by the black warning at 8.40 for the first time since May last year. It was in force for two hours. Arthur Akiola, ATV News.